Hey guys, it's Danny. Today I'll show you how I started my chestnut tree from chestnuts, yes, from seeds. Now a chestnut tree will grow pretty large and its place is in a garden really, but for a while you can enjoy it on the terrace or in your house even, and afterwards you can plant it in the garden or just gift it to a friend. Now first of all, the chestnuts need to experience a sort of a winter. This is usually called stratification, and if you don't have a harsh winter in your region, don't worry. You can achieve the same result by storing your chestnuts in the refrigerator. Now I've read about multiple ways to stratify them, some are more complicated than others. I'll link you down below to some articles, but I didn't follow any of those rules really. So the most common way to store them in the refrigerator is to place them in a Ziploc bag or any type of bag with some peat moss which is damp. You can place multiple chestnuts into one bag and they should stay in the refrigerator like this for 2-4 to four months. Well, my chestnuts actually germinated without the peat moss. They were stored in a normal bag without ventilation holes in the refrigerator from December until May. And as you can see, some of them already started to grow the initial root. The chestnut seed will sprout its roots and its stem in the same place. And as you can see, it's the pointiest part of the seed. Now when we pot the seed, we don't want the root to be downwards or upwards for that matter. We should plant it on its side. This way both the root and the stem will find their way up and down, guided by gravity. So I will use a well-draining soil and some added perlite and a small plastic pot. I will plant the seed on its side and because the root already chose a direction of growth, depending how it's set in the refrigerator, I'm gonna try to point it downwards. And then I'm gonna add soil to cover it completely and have a layer of about 5 cm on top of the seed. And then I'm gonna water the pot very well and actually I will keep the soil damp at all times. In about one week the stem started to poke through the medium and in about two weeks this is the result. The chestnut trees are growing very fast and at this point I was keeping them in morning sun but I was shading them from the hot noon sun and the afternoon sun. After about 4 weeks, it was time to pot them in a bigger pot. To remove the chestnut from its original pot, I tried to gently squeeze the plastic pot and the plant came off right away. As you can see, the chestnut is almost completely gone, but in its place there is a nice root system. I filled a big pot with well-draining medium and I placed the chestnut in the middle. I also tried to maintain the height level it was originally placed at. Because my terrace is very windy, I'm gonna use a stake. The stem looks pretty fragile and I don't want it to snap. Also, I don't want the leaves to get bruised. And as a final touch, I'm gonna water it very well once again to get all of the soil moist. And that's about it. I hope this will work for you as well if you wish to grow chestnuts from seeds. If you didn't have luck with chestnuts until now, maybe you should follow the more complicated steps. However, if you just have some chestnuts and you want to play around, you can try to place the chestnuts in a bag without any type of soil. Especially if you don't want to dirty your refrigerator and you just want to experiment a bit. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more plant and orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel, I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me comments down below if you have questions or suggestions for videos and if you ever want to send me a letter, you can do so at the address you see on the screen or in the description below. Choose an option on the screen if you like to visit my website orchidnature.com where you can learn about orchids and talk to our community or if you'd like to watch an orchid video next. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye!